Yo, man, we're so happy to see you here. <laughs> um, we've, we've known you for a while. we spent a bit of time with you. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of poker players, and I know poker means a lot to you, and you've put your heart into this game, you've put a lot into this game. Yeah. What does it mean to you to get, to get this far and to have this opportunity? It's, uh, it, means, it means a lot. Um, it's not everything. I think people often use that expression, like it's everything to me. And it's really not. Poker used to mean everything to me. But I realized that poker and money weren't actually things that made me happy. And that, that they were actually, um, you know, a, a symptom of, the, of like my brain where it's just like I really like uh, needed to be challenged on like sort of this epic scale where I just like wanted to climb this ridiculous mountain where it never stops. But maybe maybe in a part of my head thought that like it would stop eventually you'd get to a point where right. you didn't need to do it anymore but the problem with poker or the solution with poker and why everyone loves it so much is that there's no there's no mountain you can really get to where it's just like that's it like there's always the game is constantly shifting and evolving and you have to shift and change with it if you want to stay at the top of the game but if there is one mountain that's kind of like <laughs> <laughs> the one, it's the World Series main event, so I'm extremely grateful to be a part of it, but it doesn't mean the world to me. It's, but it, it, is, it, is, it is the only thing that matters to, when, in the context of poker, for yeah, sure. the biggest thing. Yeah. Do you think it was that attitude that drove you as a younger person to excel in, in video games as well? Because I know that's an incredibly competitive world, and, and you succeeded in it, and you were traveling all over the world, and you... It's, it looked like you, you had the same drive in that that you, that you brought to poker later. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that what happened to me in Counter-Strike towards the tail end of my career is that I think I was skirting a little bit on re my reputation towards the end. I think I'd lost a step or two. I was the equivalent of, like, you know, an aging baseball player or something like that who still knew how to win championships and still had a little spark, but the really, like, I was, like, past my prime. And I think that I felt that way in poker the last few years as well. I think my okay. prime in poker was probably around... 2013 and then um, I sort of fell off a little bit because I maybe I got complacent or maybe I uh, had the wrong teachers for me not yeah. to say that the, the teachers were were bad teachers or anything like that but just like I'm right someone back. who emulates and mimics the play styles of other players and I had some teachers around me that like were just so good at what they did and I tried to do what they did and I couldn't do it as well and if okay. you can't do their style the way they can then you kind of can crash and burn and I think that I sort of hit a point where I'm like okay this is happening all over again like I'm past my prime right. and then once I realized that and if you're not at the top of the game in poker and you're not feeling your best like you're losing money and yeah. like you're losing life high, equity high and like it's high stakes so I feel like I felt that this story is a bit of like a comeback story in that respect yeah. with regards to my sort of this resurrection of my poker career because I decided I'm like you know what I'm done being a professional poker player what do I love to do I went to sports media school I want to be a broadcaster I want to be a commentator mm -hmm. I have this you know pseudo internet celebrity that I can use to like get help me get a job with within the context of like the GPL or whatever it is yeah. and it ended up being the ultimate training tool because I saw the best players sure. in the world playing 18 hours a week for eight weeks straight, and it was like the ultimate training tool to- that kind of to, light, a, to, spark, light oh, a little fire in you or what? It made me realize, I'm like, I'm doing so many things wrong, look wow. at these guys, and I was just like, Phew, taking the best things from all the different players and like adding them to my game. So and sick. I've played two poker tournaments since the GPL. The Unibet Open, which I almost won, I ended up getting eighth, but I had like a ton of chips in that thing and the World Series main event, which I'm still in. So, awesome, I mean, obviously it's a ridiculous, like it's a small sample size or whatever, but I think it has everything to do with the Global Poker League. You know, I, I hope we can speak a bit openly and stuff, and it sounds like what you're telling me is like you went, you were going through a bit of a rough patch yeah. um, leading up to it. I'm wondering if you can give us a bit of insight into the, the situation that you were in, your career, and, and the story of how you got into this main event and, you know, sort of how it's going to change the trajectory of maybe, you know, a year or two years ago where things yeah. were for you. Um, I, uh, I didn't have a lot of money and uh, I, it was really reckless for me to play the 1000 satellite on NNA poker, but I, I kind of registered, for, I kind of like deposited and registered for it kind of like ironically, like I was just, just like, like this it. is ridiculous, <laughs> like I can't believe I'm doing this right now, like I have a little bit of space left on my credit card, like, hey, boop. 
and uh, because I knew that the satellites on Day to Day Poker, they're very, very soft. Yeah. Um, they're some of the softest satellites. They're probably the softest satellites on the internet because they have a great step program there at Day to Day Poker, running from a lot of rec players. Yeah, there. a lot of recreational players that get get a chance to to be in the main event. But it gives me a huge edge in the one thousand dollar satellite and. It's like going in a time machine, and I just played it, and uh, I won it pretty clean. Yeah. And um, I thought about selling my package because I wasn't in the best state, like emotionally and mentally, to really, to come out here and, and do this for for yeah. a week or whatever it was. But it was a bit of a hassle to sell the package and to do this sort of thing. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go there for a couple of days and see what happens. Yeah. And uh, yada yada here we yada. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. In poker and in Counter Strike, it was always. It was always the next thing. Like yeah. you're always trying to get somewhere. Yeah. And I think a lot of people go through that in their lives in all sorts of different contexts when they yeah. realize like there is no place that you're trying to get to. Yeah. Is that something that you've sort of realized and is that something that's that's been a yeah. positive thing I, for you I, in I, your I, life and in poker? Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily have said it in that way, which is really nice to hear because I think that that's a great way to put it. Um, yeah, I think that's that's really beautiful. I think that you know, I'm never going to be the person that's suddenly playing 100k buy-ins and I'm not like going to fire off in these ego fests. Not to say that's what they are, but mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm not going to like try to battle with the best just because it's like what people do that like suddenly have a lot of money or whatever like that. I don't have a gambling problem. I've never had a problem with gambling. So I'm just, you know, it's, it's, I'm grateful that it's going to make my situation and my family's situation more comfortable. Yeah. But the money's really not what is important to me at all. Yeah. What is important to you? Um love yeah just um friendship camaraderie um empathy those are what's important to me yeah cool man well i think people have a lot of that for you <laughs> thanks I appreciate congratulations that. griffin cheers good luck man